What's up, dude? Hi, this is Nir from Novi Sun, also known as the Novi Dude, or Novi Sun Dude, or for you, just the Dude. So today, this guy is going to show you some nice stuff. Carry on. Thank you to myself. So, what am I going to show you today? Wait and see. Hi, so today I'm going to show you how to install a new Tizen based Samsung TV. So first I have this remote control and this is a TV. The TV must be um, with the Samsung Tizen 4 or above, that's the version of the OS and it needs to have SSSP also 4 or above. SSSP that's the digital signage um, firmware. So I'm going to turn that on all right, using the remote control and this is the on button all right so a couple of things i need to do first first i need to choose the language let's choose english second i'll go to basic setup okay i have those buttons here i have the enter and this is how i move the cursor on the screen so next thing I need to choose the orientation. I can choose portrait if I'd like to support screen rotation, but in this case I'll choose landscape. That's a one-time action which I do. After that, if I'd like to change it from landscape to portrait, I have to factory reset the whole TV. So it's an important decision. Let's choose landscape. Um, since it's going to be used for digital signage, I'm going to choose off because I don't want any screen saver. Okay, I have a wired connection. It's actually just right here in this side. It's a Ethernet cable, but I can also choose Wi-Fi. Now, let me just reduce the volume. I have this volume here, so I'll reduce it. And next thing I need to choose is either the Magic Info, which is the default, and I don't want to use it. I want to use Novisan Digital Science Software, so I'm going to choose the URL launcher. Okay, so here I need to type some URL and I'm going to show you exactly what. Now, the best thing to do that is with this thing. This thing is actually, it's a mouse keyboard. It's a mini mouse keyboard. It's actually, this is a kind of pad, a mouse pad. And it has the right button and left button of the mouse. And this is a keyboard and it has this dongle which I'm going to connect in the back I'm going to turn that on alright and I'm going to connect the dongle in the USB port so I'll be able to control the TV also with this thing and I'll be able to type faster please notice that I can't type with a, with a Samsung remote control but I want to do it faster so with this thing this accessory will make life much easier so I'll type HTTPS colon slash slash app dot novisign dot com slash wap slash Tizen. Okay, this is what I have to type. I'll just press enter and that's it. I can revert back to the remote control and I'll just press the right arrow to move to the next step just like that so um, this phase I will skip no need to do that I just need to type the date so the date today is the 20 21st of September September 2020 all right, now to the time. Let's see what the time is. Now it's 14.17, all right. Let's choose the time. 14, 17, I'm pressing enter. And then I press again to the right to move to the next step, complete. I'll just press enter and we're almost done so next thing you're gonna see you're gonna see the home screen of the TV which you have this bar 
in the bottom you see URL launcher, URL launcher settings. However, now please notice that the URL launcher should actually trigger the Novi Sign app, right? The Tizen app. So I'll just press enter. I can move. Actually, I can move the mouse cursor between them just using the arrows. So I'll press your launcher. Let's see what will happen. It tells me unable to connect to the server. Please try again later. This may happen. So if this happens, I need to do something else. I actually need to go to the URL launcher and here I need to do something else. I need to put the app on a USB stick. So how do I put the app on the USB stick? If I go to this URL, appnovisign.com slash WAP slash Tizen, I can download a zip file and I need to extract the content of this zip file into the root folder of this USB stick. So now here I have a folder which is called SSSP and inside I have the app. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually remove the dongle of the mouse keyboard and I'm going to plug in this USB stick which has the app. And once I do that, I have this option enabled. Install from USB device. So I'm going to use the remote to choose this option. I'm just pressing OK. Uh, you need to set up a pin, so I'll set it now. And the pin is going to be in this case one, 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 one. And again, one, 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 one. OK, not so creative. And now it's installing the app and installing that from the USB stick. So basically I can actually remove the USB stick because the app is already installed. I see that the app is actually starting to run because I already used that before. It has kind of ghost leftovers, but I'm going to put back this dongle in order to be able to use the mouse keyboard all right in a second so what do I need to do actually I need to do a few things in order to this is the Tizen app so first I need to check in the first installation this is going to be unchecked the auto start so I, I just need to check it I do everything with a mouse keyboard it's much easier but everything can be done with a remote control and I need to type the screen key. In this case, I, you see I have the soft keyboard but in this case I don't, I'm not able to log into the user and just choose it by, from a drop down list so I need to manually type it. And then I just need to press play. Please notice that the settings are here. If I need to change anything in the settings I'll just press this gear icon and one thing probably I'd like to change is under the display block of settings such as, uh, sorry, under the notifications, which is also an interesting place, I'll just disable the notification so I won't see any error or any message because this is going to be a live screen. And then I'll move the cursor just back here, press the settings again, and back to the home screen of the app. And once I press the play, the app starts downloading all the media files and once they're all downloaded and in the cache the content will start playing so that's it that's a process and if you have any more questions feel free to ask us by email or by phone this is near from Novisign signing out